Hello my dear friends, welcome to my house youtube channel. Today is the first internal medicine lecture which I am going to talk about the concept of case history. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to watch more educational videos like this. So what is a case history? Case history is a planned professional conversation that enables the patient to communicate his or her symptoms, feelings and fears to the clinician. Now we are going to talk about the scheme of a case history. Every case history has a common professional structure with common criteria. Those criteria are identification, subject to examination, object to examination, main clinical syndromes with justification, preliminary diagnosis with justification, plan of additional diagnostic methods with expected results and plan of the treatment. Later we will talk in detail about all those criteria. First part of the case history is identification. In the process of identification, we will write down the passport information of the patient. They are Name, Age, Sex, Nationality, Occupation, Accommodation and Date of Admission. Second main part of the case history is Subject to Examination. In this part, doctor will have a conversation with the patient and gather information about complaints and their details, do a systemic review, collect information about anamnesis morbi or present illness, and anamnesis vitae or life history. So let's talk about the complaints and their details. When a patient complains about a symptom, as a doctor we have to collect the exact information about this complaint like location, radiation, character, reason for increasing and decreasing, associated symptoms, duration, intensity, time of appearance and frequency. On the systemic review, doctor will get a general idea about each and every system in the body. So on the respiratory system, doctor has to know mainly whether the patient is having cough, hemoptysis, dyspnea and normal voice with normal breathing. On the cardiovascular system, we have to ask questions about any discomfort, dyspnea or edema present or not. When we move to organ of the digestive system and hepatobiliary system, we have to collect information about patient's appetite, whether the patient can distinguish all taste and some other symptoms like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and constipation. Under urinary system and genital system, doctor has to know color of the urine, whether normal urination present or not and about disorders in genital system. When we move to skin and lymph nodes, we have to know whether the patient has any rashes, itching of the skin and enlargement of lymph nodes. Finally, when we are getting a general idea about osteomuscular system and nervous system, we have to know normal osteomuscular system present or not and disorders in nervous system like loss of memory having or not. Now we know as a medical student and as a doctor, this systemic review part is very important for us. The next part of the subject to examination is anamnesis morbi or the present illness. In this part, we will gather information about the present illness like we have to know time of onset, the frequency of exacerbations and seasonality, possible causes of the disease or aggravations, the results of previous examination, results of earlier treatment and the reasons for this treatment seeking. Final part of the subject to examination is anamnesis vitae or the information about the patient's life history. So we have to ask questions about the patient's childhood and youth, what is the occupation, financial status, living condition is good or not, whether the patient is wearing clothes according to the seasons, whether the patient is taking all general meals on time, the condition about the body hygiene, marital status. Under family history, we have to know whether patient's family members are having cancers, endocrine system disorders, cardiovascular and respiratory diseases. About past illnesses and whether the patient is done any previous operations or not. Habits of the patients like alcohol, smoking and narcotics intake. And about the allergy to the drugs, to food or any other pollens. Whether the patient is done previous blood transfusions and whether he is using hormones, poisoning, toxic and strong medical treatments. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions regarding today's lesson, please comment down below. If you learned something from this video, please be kind enough to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Have a nice day.